And so these were the topics that were really important for me in terms of making a decision. And so um, what I would do is find out all the information for all the universities and programs I was considering and I put them on this table. What's up you guys, it's Anjali here and today I'm going to be talking about factors you should consider before making your university decision. Now I know this is probably the season where you've gotten back some offers, you're waiting on a few and you're just struggling to decide which university you should go to and which program you should accept. And trust me, I have been there. I was actually struggling between two different fields um, because my parents really wanted me to, me to go to health sciences, so they were pushing me to take that, whereas I just really wanted to study computer science. And so trust me, I know how troublesome that can be. And I also remember just searching through YouTube for videos that could help me. And I know there are many videos out there about this topic, but there was never really advice that stood out to me. And so this is why I'm creating this video and I really just hope this video could be that video I was looking for for you. So yeah, if you're in this dilemma, keep watching or just keep watching because I love my space buns. That was me trying to be funny. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to say, which is so important, is do not go to a university or do not choose a program just because your parents said so. I cannot emphasize how important this is. It's four years of your life. Do not waste those four years of your life studying what you do not want to study. It's going to be miserable. I remember my teacher once telling me that her brother um, did four years of university in a subject he didn't like because of his parents, but then he went all the way back um, to university to do another four years of a subject he did like because he just did not like the jobs that he was doing. So trust me, it's four years of your life. Do not waste it. Spend it doing something you love. And I know this can be a little difficult with um, strict parents or especially in brown families, but I've been there and <laughs> if you want me to create a video about that, I could totally do that. But um, just try to convince your parents. What I did was I kept nudging them about it. I even showed them these charts and slides and PowerPoints I made, but really put your foot down and make sure you're studying something that you love. So the next big thing would definitely be finances because university is very expensive. The fees are outstanding and especially if you're an international student, the fees can be a lot. So just make sure you know what you have to pay and make sure you can afford your degree. And all this information about finances, um, that you have to pay can just be found on the university's website. So make sure you know that because take my word for it, you do not need that extra stress about money on top of the stress that a university is going to make you go through. <laughs> so once you've figured out your finances, the next thing you want to do is find out the clubs that your university offers, the extra programs that they have, along with just how it's going to help shape your career. Because remember, you're paying a ton for this university. So you better make sure that this university is worth your money. So like, for example, um, since I was going into a computer science program, I knew that I wanted to go to a university that gave co-op. And um, Waterloo has an amazing co-op program, which was a big game changer for me like in making my decision. But other than that, um, there's a bunch of clubs in Waterloo. They have a club for literally everything, so I knew I'd always be involved. They also have this Velocity program, which is helping a bunch of students kickstart their businesses. And so after researching everything about Waterloo and just everything that they offer, that's how I made my decision. And that's what you should do too. So the next two things that I really want to talk about are the school size along with the school culture. Now, school size, you can easily find that out on Reddit or just the university's website again. And you can figure out how many students are in a class and all that jazz. Now, so like if you prefer smaller class sizes, you probably want to go to a university with a smaller size and vice versa. Now, in terms of school culture, 
that can be pretty hard to find online. So what I did was that I messaged a bunch of people on LinkedIn that were in uh, computer science at Waterloo. And I recommend this strategy so much. Like just hearing from people that are in the university that I want to go to and in that program was just so helpful for me. Um, like specifically, I messaged a lot of people who were actually graduating in that year and like it would give me a good sense as to where they were in their life, what they accomplished from Waterloo, what Waterloo offered them. And with that information, like if, if I wanted to like be there in their place, I knew that I would want to go in that university. So the last things that I really want to talk about are um, that university is not your only option. I know all those brown parents would kill me right now, but you could take a gap year if you wanted to. A lot of people benefit from it, and especially because it's COVID, it seems pretty reasonable as well. So consider that as one of your options too, because you can take a gap year and then do university. So um, just keep that in your options. So before I wrap up this video, I know that in the beginning, I have mentioned that I would be sharing a tool that really helped me make my university decision. And so here it is. This is what I used. Um, it's basically a table where I um, had all my universities and then all like the topics. So like um, tuition costs, residence costs, um, the quality, other costs, location, my, the activities, campus size, and it goes on and on and on. And so these were the topics that were really important for me in terms of making a decision. And so um, what I would do is find out all the information for all the universities and programs I was considering and I put them on this table. And then um, me personally, I just like color coded it. So um, green meant it was really important. I really wanted to like that was important to me. And um, whichever university had the highest number of greens, um, that's where I would go. Or what you could do is you could give each topic a weight from one to five and then um, uh, you can judge your pros and cons like that and whichever university has the highest number of weights is where um, you would go. So I just really love this table. It helped me weigh all my pros and cons and like all the information was just on um, like one chart for me to see. And so yeah, I'm going to be uh, leaving a link um, to like a template of this chart in the description below just for you guys and yeah I just really hope it can help you and just make this process of choosing a university a little bit easier all right guys so that's it your one-on-one -on -one guide to help you choose your university now if you have any other topics that I may have missed in this video or you want to add on to something put them down in the comments so you can help other people and yeah, I just really hope this video was helpful to you and this advice was meaningful to you because I know how hard this process is. Other than that, make sure you like this video if it helped you, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.